morning guys welcome back to another episode i want to keep this intro quite short i want to get out and um, actually fish so i'm going to take out the kayak today as you can see got the um, life jacket on and we're going to have plan a and plan b so it's an interesting one today but i'm always up for a challenge so i've got myself a bait caster set up that's a six foot six on a 100 size bait caster reel I'm going to be using some paddle tails and vibes. And if I can't get anything decent, like a flathead or a bycatch jewelry, I'm going to go back to brimming. So I've got my ultra light, soft tapered rod. I'm going to be running crankbaits in top water. So it's a beautiful morning, a lot of overcast. They did say it was going to be a bit hotter today, but um, we're still in summer. So we should be able to get some brim on the top column. If not, we'll chuck out some plastics regardless. So plan A, plan B. Let's get into the water and stop mucking around. Tell you what, the water is nice and warm. Even though it's not the hottest day today, the water's still nice and warm. If I can't get the flatty bite or the dew bite, I'm definitely gonna get some brim, I reckon. I don't see, I really don't see me not getting brim today. I've done it last time. If we can do it again and replicate the session on crankbaits and top water, that's gonna make me a happy man. I think it's going to be a cracking session bro we're approaching a full high tide in an hour so beautiful timing perfect timing i really don't see us failing today i mean no sessions are fail but you know what i mean yeah there's a little guy on there let's quickly work this other side of the boat i'm in such a bad angle way eh? it's a joke oh Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. got one. Oh, he pulled hooks on him. Good fish, that one. Good fish, eh? Missed it. Yeah. Uh, Mick, yeah, Mick. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, I guess everyone fishes the same spots, eh? Like. Oh, fish on. Oh. oh, on the pause. Yeah, it's a nice brim, I think. It's got some weight to him. Oh, yeah. Not bad. He's all right. Didn't take long. It's on the spike 44. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Good enough for me. And they're eating nicely today, I reckon. He's gone. Not bad. Good fun on five, five pound there. They're pretty aggressive on the chew, man. I reckon top water will be all right. It's got a crankbait on. I'm just cranking the boats and stuff. That's the second cast. I got. I pulled hooks there. That's the second cast. I got, I got one already. So, yeah, man. That's right underneath the pontoon now. What the hell am I snagged on? Oh, oh, good fish. That's a good fish, man. That's a good model. Let's paddle out. Got another one, eh? He's got some good weight to him. Better than the other one, I reckon. Oh. Decent head shakes. I think it's a Trev. It's got a bit of Trev-like head shakes. 
Unless it's a big old brim, eh? Oh, it's a big old brim. That is a big old brim. What about that for a take? Oh, it's a nice brim, bro. <laughs> That's a beast. That's a good brim. Sort of underestimated him. That's a nice brim. Probably 33, 35. Could be wrong, could be a bit bigger. Could be a bit, a bit smaller. No, he's a 34. Oh, 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 oh. oh, let's call him 38. All right, guys. Hope it doesn't jump. Have a look at that for a brim. 37, 38 centimeter brim on the crankbait. Using five pound fluorocarbon. It's always fun, eh? So that's a good looking brim right there. Let's put him back in. What about that backdrop? Beautiful morning. Try to get a nice photo. <sighs> Lovely brim. He got ya? Oh, you're kidding, man. That was big. What was it running like? Uh, a lot. Was it head shakes or like just pound? Uh, just pulling. Maybe salmon or kingfish? Uh, it might have been a king -y. So, yeah, basically in line like this. And if I cast it this way and work it underneath this pontoon, that could be very effective. Let's see if I'm right. Yes, there you go. See that? That's a good fish, it worked. That's actually a very good fish, eh? My goodness, he's not a bad one. Wow, he's got some weight. I think I pulled a hook. I think I just pulled a hook. That is a very good brim. This could be bigger, if not the same. My goodness. That technique worked, eh? Ho, ho, ho. Nice brimbo. Nice brimbo. I'll take that. Got, any, got no net, though, because I'm an idiot. All right. That's a good brim, man. That is a very good brim. I'll just grab the bib. Oh, he's come off. You're kidding. So what happens when you bring no net? So what happens when you bring no net, eh? Fish, oh, good fish. Good fish, good fish. Where you going, mate? <laughs> he hit that nice, eh? Get him out. I don't know how big he is. He's not that big. It's just a freaking fighter. That was good. That was good. That's what I'm talking about, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Nah, he's a bit, bit under legal. So he hid that in the shade along that boat. And all it took was for him to see it. It's just the casting. If you can get the cast right, which I'm struggling at at the moment. If you can get the cast right, You'll catch fish. See, that's too far. It's too far from the pontoon. I'm not gonna get a fish there. So we're just gonna have to keep practicing. Oh, I've got a hit on the paws. <laughs> I've got one. <laughs> I don't know how big this one is. Doesn't feel too big. I thought it was too far from the pontoon, but it turns out it's okay. Oh, pulled hooks. It's okay, it wasn't that big. The accuracy isn't the best. I'll still try, don't get me wrong, but I see that's terrible accuracy, man. Like, that's nowhere near the pontoon, and that's not going to catch me a rim. We'll continue, though. We'll continue and we'll keep casting. Let's see what happens. But we need. Oh, I just got back there, eh? He got it. He got it. He got it. He came back for it. There's another brim. Smallie. 
Smallly with a bit of aggression. See you later, man. I haven't thrown top yet. That's because crankbait's working, so... I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should change up my routine or just stick to crankbaiting. But there I say... Oh, oh my God, that's a good fish, man. Get him out of that structure. Get him out, get him out, son. Just come out, come out of there. Yeah, they're definitely loving the crankbait bite, eh? I'll take one treble out, and we'll take the other one out. And I'll just show you guys that these brim, they have some give, man, even at that size. He's 20, so he's like 27, 27 model. You heard that run, that's good fun. I can fully go top water, Mary. Fuck, just go top water, me. Stop being lazy. Oh, that's gonna get me a fish. I just can't go top, you know. Oh, you know why? Because I'm getting hit like that. That's ridiculous, oh, that's nuts, look at that. It's effortless. It's effortless on the crankbait. So why would I go top? It's so good, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good, mate. He's better. He's better. Let's unpin him. He's a nice brim, man. Very respectable brim. Let's have a look. Yeah, legal. 27 again. Just hard hitters. See you later, bro. He just pooped all over me. Okay, I can literally see brim on top now. So I'm putting this 65 mil in cruel colour. I've just seen a like a brim bust up in the shade. So I mean like I'm not expecting to get one on top, but I feel confident. Does it mean it's gonna happen? Not really. I hope I get a big one on top, man. So I've taken that spike 44 off. This baby's come on. And I feel like that shade area there, that shady pocket there. This crankbait has done so much damage today. Spike uh, 44. I think that's bluegill or something. I'm pretty sure it's bluegill. If I can get one on top, I'll be staked. Because I really didn't have this in my head. I didn't, I didn't have brim on top in my head today. So if I can get one on top, I'll be really happy. If I don't get any, I'm not going to be disappointed. Anyways, let's get it down there. That's where you want it. Let's see if we can get a top water hit, eh? Oh my god! Let's see if we can get a top water hit. What was that? <laughs> this is just too good, eh? This is just too freaking good. I'm not gonna lie. I don't care how big this brim is. That hit scared the living daylights out of me. He's not even big. I knew it would work. I knew getting that top water hit's gonna work. Purely for the fact that they were just taking the crankbait so, like, so easily. It's a nice brim, eh? <sighs> what a brim, bait! What a brim! Target some shady edges of boats, eh? Could come up good doing this. Just like this. Please get a bite there. That'll be awesome. Oh, yeah. Boil. Got one. Yes. On the pause. As I was trying to rotate my kayak, that just had brim all over it. Oh, it came off, you freaking bastard. You came off. See, when you feel it, you feel it. I just, that had brim ridden all over it. I don't know why. And it worked. I think there's another brim ridden all over it here. Oh, yes. Straight on, straight onto it. That's nuts, eh? Well, what's that about? Does that have weight or does that have weight? What's going on there? Is he on a rope? Or is he just a big boy? I think he's fair hooked, he has to be. Because he's not coming up properly. Yeah. 
It was just foul hooked. There's another one on top, guys. That summer bite is that easy. They're not massive fish, but what a good time, man. You can't tell me it isn't. Wow. Hello, sir. I knew top would work, eh? I just um, got a bit excited with that crankbait because it was catching so much fish. It's not a bad thing. We've had a good session today, so let's keep going. Okay, that's a nice pocket right there. See that? Should be a brim there. Should be a brim there. Come on. On the pause. On the pause. Hit it on the pause. Yes, boils. Take it. Take it. Break. Oh, he missed that. He missed that. He got it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, my God. What the hell? He hit it like two times. That's too good. He's got mates with him too. This is what you call a brim session. This is brim mayhem. Absolute mayhem, mate. This is so good. This is so good, guys. I can't explain to you how fun this is. Just by one assist hook. I'll just follow it out, I guess, like, if you can't cast adjacent to it. Oh, man, that's so close to the pontoon there. There's got to be a brim, brim on that. Surely a brim was on that. Yep. Oh, good hit. <laughs> He's got a bit of give. He kissed that lure, eh? He really ate that. Fuck. He wanted that. He really wanted that. And look at that. All hooks in him. All hooks in him. So what I've done, cast it towards the pontoon. Couple of twitches. Out of the shade they come. And they smash it. It just spills brim here, there's so much shade. Spills, spills top water. Oh yeah, good cast. Come on baby. Come out brimbos. Come out brimbos. Come out brimby. Oh, see that, see that. Didn't I tell ya? He wanted that so bad. I knew it. Where's his? He's better. Oh, he's darker. That's for sure. Oh, countless, countless fish at the moment. It's so good. Oh, wow. Very close to the rocks. Still nothing though. No boils. Oh, 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 on it. On it. Yes. That's all I wanted, eh? Just wanted one more. <laughs> I like it. That was sick. That was sick, man. I paused for a long time, eh? And he came up for it and he ate it. And that's a perfect example. <sighs> so good. So good. Top water brimming. Does anything beat it? I don't think so. I mean, the crankbait bite was sick. But top water brimming is just awesome, man. One thing I like about these assist hooks is you can get them out easily. Not that hard to get out. So I said I wanted one more and that was it, but <laughs> I'm going again. I'm gonna get a bit closer to these rocks. Just like that, perfect. And just work it back towards me. Oh, he, that was a good strike. See that, that was perfect. That was, oh, he's got it. Yes. 
Oh, he's actually a good one, eh? Oh no, he's really good. He's come out, thank God. He's a good fish, man. He's actually a really nice fish, and I hope I get him just to end this session. He's got a ton of weight on him, eh? He has got a ton of weight on him. And I'm hoping he's not foul hooked. I'm hoping it's a really good prim, prim and it's just not foul hooked, eh? The way he's running is just incredible, man. And I'm on five, five pounds, so. Oh, those are some nice head shakes. That's a good brim. That has to be a good brim. I'm pretty sure it is. It is. It's a amazing brim. I don't have a net. I hope I don't lose him. That's high 30s, mid 30s, I would say. Unless I've seen wrong. But I just knew by the way he was running that that was going to be a good brim. He's high 30s, I would say. I want to say he's 40, but he's thick. It's a thick brim. That's why he's so aggressive. He's just a thick brim. Oh, it's such a good brim. Oh, no. Yes, that's a very nice brim. <laughs> that's going to end the session. So, here we have it. That ends the session. I've got no tripod, but I've just beached up. That's going to end the session. 36, 37 centimetre brim on top water. Quarter 37 on crankbait. It's a 37 on top. What a session. Double digits, I reckon. Again, unpin that guy and put him back in. It's going to be my first underwater release. So. That's how he goes, though. I don't know how this thing with this stuff works. It's like it works, eh?